Could I defeat Gordon Ryan in grappling maybe? Yeah, could I defeat the greatest grappler of all times? That's a great question, you know? Like, I'm a grappling world champion, third degree BJJ black belt, and uh, I have videos online where I defeat people like twice my size, two meters tall, that's like six, seven, um, almost 350 pounds, like 150 kilograms, so huge man. So could I defeat Gordon Ryan? Man, <laughs> man. Let's, let's be real, you know, Gordon Ryan is very likely on fighting power, the most powerful grappler probably in the history of mankind, okay? He's dominating other world champions, other heavyweight world champions with ease. He's making them look like blue belts. He's making them look helpless. He's making them look like they ain't even be training. He's just way, way, way too good. His movement is too precise. His timing is too good for anybody to even touch him. Like when he was fighting Andre Galvao, and Andre Galvao is, is a huge, huge name in grappling, multiple time black belt world champion, you know, and Andre Galvao himself roided to the gills, you know, he would piss so hard, he could melt a plastic cup. You could just like take a blood sample of him, inject it into yourself and you'd piss hot again. That's how roided up these men are. And you know, like Gordon Ryan aged like 20 years in the past five years. That's how roided up they are. His power is like off the grid. It's crazy. It's crazy. So no man, I would probably not have any chance, my only chance would be like, because he's got those stomach ache from all that roids that he's injecting. So like maybe if he's got a very bad day with very bad tummy ache, then I maybe got some chance, you know? But that's about it, that's about it. No, so my chance is somewhere between zero and 1.5%. You guys don't understand how off the level that man is, his fighting power, his grappling is so far removed from probably every other person in history. The only comparison in dominance that, that um, fits how dominant he is in grappling is how dominant Karelin was in wrestling. That's probably fitting comparison of the level of that man. It's absolutely crazy. And no, I don't even think that without any rules. I don't think that uh, my striking and elbow and whatever I'm trained in would be enough to even come close to neutralize his grappling, which would be just way too dominant.